It's so abusive, man. Wow. And... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's DT here from Desert Reviews, and today on Desert Reviews, we are here to check out the one, the only, Madoka Magica Magia Record, episode 7. Now, in the last episode, we were introduced to a new uwasa, or rumor, or whatever you want to call it, that induces luck in a person. And also, we were introduced to the badass Warhammer-wielding girl that is known as Felicia. I mean... Damn, when's the last time you've seen somebody wield a goddamn warhammer in an anime? I mean, who wields a warhammer in anime that's a main protagonist? You know, just, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are not in our usual setup. And the reason why is because of the fact that I've decided to be more courteous to the people that are around me. You see, usually I record at home with my family and whatnot, and usually during the time... Uh, I record, they're actually out of the house, so I can cut loose, I can do whatever the hell I want, and I can just go all out, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I can just say what I want to say and do whatever the fuck I feel like doing, you know, but when they're here, unfortunately, there's some unforeseen circumstances, you know, I have to keep it down, I can't cut loose, I can't go all out, so that's the reason why I'm here on the set of the Tribesman Podcast, hashtag incredible plugin. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is where we usually record our, uh, you know, our podcasts and whatnot. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to be posting some episodes soon. So yeah, I guess that's everything I have to say. A um, few things before we begin, though, actually. Number one, I do not own this anime whatsoever. All credit goes to Studio Shaft and the production team behind Studio Shaft. Number two... You guys see a little bit of a box thing right here? That's that way you guys can check out the anime with me. It will be altered. So please support the original creators by checking out Crunchyroll or whatever means you have of watching the anime legally, of course. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, um, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, fair use states that I am permitted to utilize such content under the grounds of criticism. Also, if you're under the age of 13, please fuck off. Really, just fuck off. All right. We don't need some coppa bullshit raining down on us and whatnot, so just fuck off. Um, what else? What else? Guys, please be sure to support me down with the links below. For every person that signs up for Weeble or any of the uh, you know apps down below makes an account and maybe makes a deposit. Some don't require a deposit, some do. Uh, I, you know, I would really appreciate it because you know at the end of the day, it helps me make some money off of this, and, you know, it's not easy doing this for free, guys. You know, come on. Help a brother out. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's almost every single little thing. Uh, so... Yeah, without further ado, let's get into this anime in three, two, one, zero. Aniplex. Funimation Entertainment, you should be watching. Okay, so, oh shit. And we're already starting off with a tragedy. What in the living hell is up with the... What is up with the fire? It's all pixelated and shit. I'm guessing this is Felicia's... Yeah, this is Felicia's origin story. Yes! This is Felicia's origin. Right here. Dope! A monster that devours people's hearts from the inside out. You have the power to battle which is within you. Oh, you fucking bastard! You bastard, Cube! Fuck you!
Way to manipulate every single aspect of her. Damn. Poor Felicia. And wait, Felicia's gonna backstab freaking Aroha? Come on! Really? You're really gonna do that shit? You're gonna do Aroha dirty, Felicia? Don't, please. Just, dear God, no. Just please, don't do my girl dirty, man. Felicia, just don't. Don't do her dirty like that. I always love this little part within the uh, opening where she's just like running down a flight of stairs. She looks so adorable, you know? I absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, Chiyo. Amongst the series, uh, like all the girls in this series right now, I would say... Like, not the original quartet. Not counting the original quartet. I would definitely put uh, Yachio at number one. That's for sure. Saruna is definitely number two. Iroha, I think she could easily come in at number three. But she might be tied with Rena. Rena was, is definitely number four. Felicia's great. Don't get me wrong. But I think I would put her at number five. But yeah, Saruno's just too awesome, man. She deserves a high rank within the list. And I found out she's apparently 17. Jersey's 16, but you don't want to risk it. So, sorry, Saruno. I don't think you could qualify. Wait, what the? Felicia, you're so impatient. Wait, what? They did, what happened to Yachio and the rest? They didn't fight? Like, what happened? <laughs> wow. Wow, that is so cool. Everything's like almost reversed. Suyaki, White Feather, Wings of the Magius. White Feather, Sukasa, Amane. Wait, I'm confused. Do they have the same name? But we're higher up than the Black Feathers. We are the Wings of Magius. Our group objective is to accomplish the objective of the three of the three Magius. But where are their feathers? Something tells me these these girls do not have are not right whatsoever. Salvation of the magical girls. I'm telling you, something doesn't sound right. Yeah, but witches are magical girls. They're born from magical girls. Something tells me they know this secret. They know the big secret. But they're doing something. Wait. Yes! Yes! Kyoka! Kyoko! God damn it! Wait! Wait, Kyoko's gonna join the cult? Wow, yeah, she was pretty clever. She planted a Jeep. When did she plant the tracker? That's my question. You're always thinking ahead. I gotta admit, Yachio is basically like Senjo Gahara. Very similar to her, in all honesty. By the way, guys, what should I do about the dub? You know, I'm already pretty deep into the sub right now. You know? The only thing, there's only one other thing that will just... Okay, looks like she went underground. Baby Cube! Ooh, what's up? Ooh, what's up? Damn, because of that, there are hardly any left in Cosimino, where I'm from. It's really amazing, like, 
Felicia and Kyoko are a lot alike. Wow. They are very much alike. They are pretty much alike. Yoko, I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm guessing they're making more owl water? Like, yeah, they definitely are. Yeah, but they gotta destroy it if they don't want to. Oh my god. Why are you giving them this? Do not drink it. That is not a good idea. You do not need grief seeds in Kamehameha. Suka, uh, Suku, uh, God damn it, I, I can't remember their names. Oh my god, this is almost like they're walking into a dungeon. Oh, yes! We're gonna get a smackdown in this town! Oh my god. Please tell me we're gonna get a smackdown in this town. Dear god, these two are definitely twin sets. You become entranced with our performance this evening. What the hell? That's not a soul gem. What is that? What the hell is that? What? It's like they're in a coliseum. What is this? Like this this doesn't look like a witch. Okay, so they basically have a little circus going on. Okay, so these those are actual witches, but what the hell? Yeah, and it's even more fucked up when you know what witches are. So long as there's magical girls, there's always going to be a witch. Oh, come on, Kyoko, don't do, don't do Iroha dirty like that, please, don't. <laughs> wow, Felicia, man, what is going on? Why are you betraying these people all of a sudden? Combo move! <laughs> Damn! I have 
to admit, I like Felicia's motivation. She's a really, really good character. Those who watch that most fortune creatures. Wow. Oh, come on! Kyogo! Wait, no, wait! We are getting a smackdown in this town! It is good to see you again, Kyoko! It is good to see you! Yes! <laughs> oh, come on! I was hoping I could see more of, uh, more of a fight. Man, Kyoko, oh god. Oh, and she brought out the giant chain spear. Well, not the giant one, the chain spear in general. Yes, I am, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. It's kind of cool. Wait, six? Like, uh, somebody mentioned the counter before, but it's like, you know, why, looking for the counter kind of reminds me of like those uh, Mickey Mouse heads that you look for. When you're in uh, Disney World, what is up with that cube? She's got a freaking rocket hammer. She has a freaking rocket hammer. Oh my god! It is so awesome, man. This almost reminds me of Mega Man ZX if you guys have ever played that game. Well, more like Mega Man ZX Advent where you see the prior protagonist come into play. If you guys don't play that game, then you need to. <laughs> oh my god, it is so good to see Kyoko, uh, Kyoko fight again. Dear god, it is good to see you, Kyoko. I missed you. I missed you. Wait, where's Iroha? Shit. Wow, they're... Oh, that's not good. So they were right about, like, you know, the redemption thing and all that. that I was right about the redemption thing. That was part of their goal. Like, that's one thing I theorized. They're going half witch. They're going half witch. They are going half witch. Yes. Wait, what the hell? Wait, they have complete control of their half witch or I don't even know what to call them to be honest. Like I'm just They're driving the counter down. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're not trying to hurt you. They're just trying to stall you. But wait, she's not doing anything lucky. Oh, wait. No, the near misses are lucky. Shit, that's what they're doing. Oh, man. Iroha's going half witch here. Holy shit! Yo! Here she comes! It's kind of incredible that they're able to utilize these abilities, and I love the psychedelic imagery. It's just... Wow, they're... But it's weird, they're not like Iroha, though. It's different. It's def- okay, Aroha is definitely different from last time as well. It just seems different in general. Her transformation is different from the other girls. I don't get it. What's the difference? Like, what makes it- It's 
just bizarre. Oh man, now we're meeting the big boss! No fucking way! Mifuyu is the boss! No fucking way! Wait, I thought she was dead! What the fuck? Mifuyu! Mifuyu! I thought you were dead! Oh no, 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 I've seen this before. Please, me for you, don't murk her! Do not fucking murk her! Yeah. I don't get it, you can only see the dead there, but... And it's not even truly them, but it's weird. Shit. What the fuck, me fool you? You. Holy fuck, me fool you is the big boss! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. One of them is... Somebody's gonna get murked. Mifuyu, you're either gonna get murked, Yachio is gonna get murked, or Saruno is gonna get murked. One of the three is gonna get fucking murked. One of you is going to get murked. Holy shit. Okay, that sounds it. Mifuyu is definitely on my list. For Bay list. She qualifies. She qualifies. And I think she basically skyrocketed and she beat out Iroha. She beat out Iroha and Rena. Sorry, Iroha. Sorry, Rena. But you, you kind of got demoted. Oh, Felicia. Oh my god, Felicia. <laughs> I love this banter. But it's, you can be mad, it's just you have to learn to control that anger. Wow. Oh, poor Felicia. But I want to go home with you. Phrasing. Phrasing, Aroha. Phrasing. the pacing does seem a, a wee bit rushed a little fast paced to be honest but overall the episode is pretty good oh come on Kyoko can't you stay can't you stay
Zero. Wow. Okay. That was an interesting episode. I will say the pacing felt a little bit off. A wee bit off. But it wasn't as bad as episode two's pacing. This pacing... Maybe slow it down a wee bit. Just a, just a wee bit. You know? Just slow it down a bit and you're good. But overall, pretty damn good. And fucking me foo you! Me foo you! Me foo you! Me foo you! <laughs> yes! I like me foo you, man. I like me foo you. Uh, I was not expecting her to be the big boss, to be honest. I, I didn't think of that. Like, I thought her death was gonna have some sort of impact or something along the lines on Yachio's psyche. Like, she was gonna have a complete break. But, holy shit! Yeah! Fucking, fucking hell! Mifuyu is apparently the big boss! Mifuyu! <laughs> I love you! Sorry, I just needed to check something real quick. I'm, I'm expecting others to come along the line because we're going to set up for the podcast, which you guys should check out when it comes out. Let's see. Do we got us an end credit scene? Yes, we do! Oh, wow. Pick up your comics from the living oh. I'm a little confused by that. So they found a boarding house and... Okay, so that's the actual name of the house. Like, that's Yachio's actual house. The name of the place that they reside. Sender, are you a magical girl? Sender unknown, please help me. Oh, shit. Come on! Why? You couldn't have given me something more, man. Come on. Like, that's such a tease. I was expecting something else. But I wonder who sent the distress call. That's, that's what I'm curious about. But yeah, this was an interesting episode. Overall, pretty damn good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it too, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join me on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, you can also join the Desert Clan on Facebook. It's not as active as it used to be, but hey, if you want to join, feel free. I'll leave the link down below. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah. Check out the Tribesman podcast when it comes out. And a final announcement, I'm going to be doing a group reaction of Madoka Magica with a bunch of friends. Like, I call it the uh, the rookie and the newbies. You know, I mean, not the rookie and the newbies. I, I call it the uh, the veteran and the rookies. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to be reacting to Madoka Magica. I'm obviously the, you know, the veteran, and I'm going to have, like, four other people be the rookies. Anyway, without further ado, this is DT signing out. See ya.